Hi everyone, my name is Trish Sornio, your friendly local scientist candidate. Uh, as you can see, I am coming from my home today uh, to you virtually because unfortunately, of course, with COVID, uh, we're trying to keep staff and, and volunteers home and I hope that you and your families are also home and well. And so I do apologize. Uh, this is just a simple iPhone video and I hope that uh, that'll suffice in, in our absence. Um, the last many weeks, you know, there's been a lot of uncertainty and, and anxiety around for, I think, a lot of folks, but uh, it's been particularly hard for me as well because I got into this race to champion science and healthcare and, and the things that I happen to have backgrounds in. And I specifically knew that there were a lot of weaknesses that we had in our policy making uh, at the federal level that was going to be problematic. And COVID-19, unfortunately, has worked to systematically expose a vast majority of these policies that were weakened, particularly under the Trump administration. Uh, so for example, there are a handful of things that has been done, 80% uh, budget cuts to the CDC for pandemic response. Uh, Trump and, and Gardner supported that. Uh, we have seen the National Security Council completely dismantled both in the higher uh, and support teams with no alternative plans or readiness. Uh, we have seen something called the ASPR, which is um, for preparedness response. Uh, it's actually the bulk word between the hospitals and the health departments in pandemic response, and they request a $2.5 billion budget, and Congress has refused to uh, fund it. And so, uh, you know, Cory Gardner, again, is one of those examples that has just really been an anti-science champion uh, more than anything else. And for me, uh, you know, I saw a lot of this through the work that I was doing, and I really wanted to, to get our first scientist on the U.S. Senate Science Committee to prevent these kinds of uh, issues, because unfortunately, Americans are going to pay the price for our lack of science at these federal levels, whether that is uh, economically, whether that is through mental health and anxiety of uh, uncertainty that's going on right now. And for many Americans, unfortunately, it is going to cost lives, and, and I, it's a really... Um, tough thing for me to to see that happening because we've known in our communities that these were risks that we were we were for um here in the u.s so uh unfortunately we are on track to be you know, highly impacted by COVID-19 and there are some things that we can work to do and the thing that I am here to ask you for today is to uh put a scientist with healthcare experience on the ballot for this June I am a caucus and assembly only candidate which means that um without your assistance and support, I will not be able to continue in this race. And we know that these uh, processes have been impacted by COVID-19. And so I do recognize uh, the challenge there, but um, we are hoping that we can be able to leverage our background to uh, continue in this race and make sure that we are championing the policies that are required to uh, minimize and mitigate the effects that COVID-19 is presenting, because this isn't gonna be just a weeks to months issue. This is gonna be a months to years sort of thing. And so um, I humbly ask you all for your support uh, as delegates, especially if you are John Hickenlooper delegate who is no longer going through caucus, you are not bound and you are able to support anyone. And while I immensely respect my colleagues uh, and the talents and the expertise that they bring in this race, unfortunately, the right candidate comes at the right time and we, we need a scientist on the highest level of federal science committee. There are zero scientists and, and we need to fix that more than anything else. Uh, it is literally costing lives. So. Uh, I really strongly uh, thank you again for coming out virtually <laughs> today and for taking the time to watch this video. And I think, uh, you know, if you want to learn a little bit more, you're welcome to go to Zornio2020.com where you can reach out on our Twitter and Facebook platforms. Uh, we're happily taking questions there as well. And one last thing I would add is that it isn't just COVID-19. There's so many things from the scientific side that we know that we're falling behind on and we really uh, need your help in making sure that those are being addressed. And so, for example, we do have a climate change plan that is 12 pages long. It's on our website. You can access it there. It is science back. It's more comprehensive and more aggressive than even the Green New Deal uh, and a number of other plans as well. So thank you so much for supporting women in science in this race. Uh, please, please, please give us your delegate support to help us get on the ballot and make sure that we have uh, a voice of science in the debates moving into the June 30th ballot. Thank you so much.